Now, the International Union for Conservation of Nature is worried about how poorly the Sahel region has handled its land management and restoration process. The organization says this has led to a shortage of the arable land in the area. Martina Bugri again reports. Looking at the opening ceremony of the Creating Lands of Opportunity, Transforming Livelihood Through Landscape Restoration in the Sahel region, on the team Connecting Land Degradation, Neutrality and Nature-Based Resolution held in Tamale, Head of Programs of the IUCN in Burkina Faso, Dr. Shaki Samda said, while some efforts are being made to conserve the land, others are destroying it, raising concerns over land degradation. The major challenge for lands in the Sahel uh, region are three, uh, three major uh, ones. The first one has to do on the way we are making use of lands. So while some people are taking good care of lands, other people are just using land for their own business without taking into consideration that the land is a public good. Even if you, you acquire the ownership, uh, because under the land you have trees and other species that produce public good for people. So even if you own the land, the ecosystem service from the lands is not privatized. Grounds coordinator of West Africa Center for Water, Irrigation and Sustainable Agriculture, Professor Sai Dito said modern agricultural practice is partly to blame for the destruction. Our modernization is, is being destructive partly because we are forgetting that nature, nature itself has some regulations or some um, things that we must look at what nature is. If you leave nature alone, you'll probably find out that it can come it can, um, um, uh, this neutrality we're talking about, it can control itself. But somehow we have, been inter we have intervened in the nature so much that can we at least go backwards a bit and see is this something that we can do based on what nature is? Simple example. Instead of using so much fertilizer, can we go back to nature and see how nature has been doing its own? Professor Dito called for an institutional framework that will turn research into policy and implementation while urging the government to make good use of research from various universities. Research, yes, we do research to get knowledge, get new ideas and all that. But somebody has to pick the research and put it into action. The refunds or the resources that you get to do your research cannot be used for the policy and for action. So there must be a link. There should be a link somewhere between research, between policy, and even between implementation. So the research should result in policy. It should result in implementation. That is if it's good enough. Who is supposed to put, give that link? Definitely it goes back to government. Government should put out structures that will ensure that whatever research is being done in various places, we should be able to turn it to policy, turn it to implementation.